really stop and think about it. And that's why so I'm coming up next on this right WGN now. Radio, Jim Lasky show. Going to get in his face taxes. a little bit about some Hoffman comment this guy made. Said that uh, David Hoffman got in fake fights with the mayor in order to run for office. That's some bullshit. People that don't have money and health insurance, and no one got laid off. I think Todd Stroh is get up. He's doing an outstanding job. Well, you're going to go out and vote, right? You're going to go out and vote? Absolutely. Okay, good for you. That's what we want to hear. Thanks for the call. Dan from Chicago. Jim Lasky. Dan. I uh, so I appreciate what you do. I appreciate your point of view. Um, what I and uh, I am going to vote on February two. I'm a huge supporter of David Hoffman for U.S. Senate, and I want to get. I don't get where you're going with this. What's with this fake fight uh, stuff you're believing? What do you got for me on that? I'm not saying it was a fake fight. I'm not saying there was a real fight. I'm just saying there was a fight, and I'm I'm not so sure that the anti-establishment. Uh, motive or the anti-establishment campaign. I'm an outsider. I'm uh, I'm like the next Rudy Giuliani. Uh, is transparent enough for me? Okay. Uh, uh, Hoffman is he's, he's a former assistant U.S. attorney. He was the inspector general for uh, the city of Chicago. Uh, they had a disagreement about a parking meter deal, but I don't really think that. Mr. Hoffman ever brought anything to light, his comments were after the fact. Well, and and everybody can think that, you know, because he had this fight with Daly and because he was the Inspector General and he had Mr. Clean on his shirt, that he's going to, you know, be the, be the uh, savior. And, I, and, and it's my opinion, just like yours, you're a Hoffman supporter and God, but I'm happy you're going to go out and vote. And that's what we need. But we can agree to disagree on who we're going to vote for. Well, here's my take on that, if I can give my some input, is, uh, you know, people focus on on that the parking meter uh, uh, investigation that he did, but this guy served in city government for four years and did his job, right? So you could say it was after the fact, but he did his job as he did it, which is as Inspector General, and it was his job to look at efficiency in government. So right, and, I, you, and, and, and you know what, though, Dan? He was appointed by the mayor, just like Alexander Verstuis was appointed by the mayor. He serves at the mayor's pleasure. No, he did so not, the mayor, sir. The Wait, mayor, excuse me. You have what? that wrong. He was, no, appoint, he was appointed to a four-year term, and he was right, subject... The council approved it, the city council approves it, but this guy didn't come out of the clear blue sky. But the point is that the mayor did not have the right to fire him, so when you say he served the pleasure of the mayor, well, you're wrong, I, I'm Jim. sorry, Alexander Verstuis. No, he was, the, uh, he was a zero, okay? So you cannot, com you cannot compare him to Hoffman. As a matter of fact, it gives a good point. The point is that Hoffman cleaned up that office. Hoffman made okay. that office professionalized. And he's not and, saying he's the next coming of Rudy Giuliani. The guy's just saying, this is what I did. I've got 16 years in public service. I don't know why he can't say that, is my point. God, God bless that you're going to go out and vote, and you're going to vote for Hoffman. Thanks for the call. Thanks, Jim. Piece of shit.